Hi friends, uh, good day. I think the industry buzzword is RPA, right? We all are, I think, very keen in knowing what is RPA and then understand uh, what, what are the tools which are supporting RPA. So in today's session, what I will do is, I will take you a quick uh, overview of RPA and my aim is uh, to make you understand the big picture of RPA and then we will proceed in this way with the tools which are um, underlying the RPA implementation and then we will see how it goes okay so starting the agenda for today would be like we will just quickly see what is automation and then where this RPA falls under the big picture of automation okay and then secondly we will go to the actual RPA overview okay followed by the benefits of RPA and then RPA tools which are currently in market and then some use cases which will make you understand what is the RPA uh, capability and then how it is useful for us okay and then we all will also discuss about ideal candidates for RPA means when to go for RPA and when to not this is very important when you are giving solution for any client and then to make him um, satisfaction and then uh, to make him realize, realize um, what is uh, going on okay and then we will followed by we will see a sample demo as well so that you will have a small understanding of this right let's get started quickly okay so this is automation main classification which I can say you so priorly I think this is not new the automation is not new for software the earlier generation was including macros seleniums so PY regression testings so these will are fall under automation only but these are kind of first general first generation of automation okay so the next level which comes is now the rpa so this fall under systems that do right so automation this is the main classification is system that do system that think system that learn system that do in the sense it will just replicate repetitive human actions okay follow the step by step procedure rule based configurations that's it it does not provide any recommendations or predictions that is the important thing under this classification so the rpa which we are going to learn will fall under system that do category this you should understand this and then followed by we have system that think so this systems have the capability of judgment means they can do some kind of recommendations or they can think of what is wrong and what is right that's it right so the, the next level to system that do is system that think and the next level and the advanced level will be system that learn so what they can do is they can understand or learn the current situations and then adapt to the situation and then when they are working they can learn also quickly and then um, they will service the customer or the uh, consumers accordingly right for example as i was telling examples of system that do is the rpa tools system that think is one such thing is natural language processing which in mobile phone we use right so when we are saying calls so and so or something when we are giving a voice thing it understand the voice in a specific format and then do the action accordingly so it is thinking in that way so system that learn uh, can be a chatbot where you are saying hi and you are having some question in any um, unstructured way also the question can be the question need not be in a very structured way but it is the system will learn you or understand you and then respond to you accordingly right this is the major classification this is for your understanding just keep it for now we will mostly focus on rpa and once this rpa concepts are completely done we will go through the next level of thinking in our next uh, things right so followed by rpa overview so so we hear this word right RPA means robotic process automation so we will just see word by word and then we will mix all these three and see what is happening with this RPA so the first one is R stands for robotic right so robotic is nothing but a software which is uh, installed on your machine which will mimic the human actions like clicks navigations and keystrokes 
so example i am doing some uh, excel data entry i am uh, browsing through a um, site so these all can be done through the software if it is given instructions to do so accordingly right so this is a software robot it's not a hardware robot it's a software robot which can do the human actions um, based on the configurations or settings we do right next is process the process is nothing but a simple steps or a sequence of steps which will achieve the end result right so there is no changes process where it is done through manually or it is done through a robot so the process will remain the same so automation so automation is nothing but when the series of steps or sequence of steps are followed or are done by a um, robot without human intervention that we call a automation any such thing like if you take in um, production support automobile industry so automation is nothing but without human uh, uh, involvement the things are getting generated or produced right so if you mix all this together thus rpa means using software right rather than people to carry out business process that rely on computer based applications so this is a software robot which deals with computer based applications only right so our aim or our vision is to how to make quicker things quicker delivery using the software based applications and then how can we make them um, working without manual intervention so that is the goal of rpa here right and then now we will jump on to what are the benefits of rpa so if you see this um, the first benefit would be reduced turnaround time if a person is typing in excel or reading some data from excel it is repetitive task that is one thing secondly the time taken will be very high but the robot will be reading in no um, very quicker way means what we see based on our experience on the industry or the implementation we did this minimum to minimum 75% is carried means 75% of time is reduced example manually it is taking 10 hours if a robot is employed there it will take not more than two and a half hours got me right so that is the turnaround time will be there that is minimum if the volume is very high means when we are dealing with thousands of records on this thing we are seeing more than 90 percent of um, turnaround time actually right so so that is the thing here and improve, improved accuracy and efficiency so this is the key uh, point actually where when we are dealing with huge number of data and these things there are and when it is done manually there is high risk of uh, having manual errors and there is a possibility of uh, missing the quality right but this rpa is guarantees 100 percent not 99.9 percent it is 100 percent guaranteed that the accuracy is not lost and the precision is not lost without any effect to the timeline and then once we are getting this kind of uh, highly effective thing definitely the operation efficiency will be very high because the robot will be working not for eight hours a day it will be working 24 hours a day and then seven days a week so the operation efficiency will definitely be enhanced and then followed by the customer satisfaction definitely when we are getting high output with high accuracy high efficiency definitely the customer satisfaction will definitely go high and then he'll be very happy to implement this and now so there is a point called FTE reduction means full time employees reduction means example 10 people are working on some manual task automation which takes huge volume and they are working day, day and night in and out actually. So in that case out of 10 the person can employ one or two who will monitor this robot if required and then the robot will be replacing the other people and then it will be doing the work on its own. So the customer will uh, we can pay less actually and then he can less rely on uh, human employees which where the skilling is very tough nowadays right right next one is in the same lines if you want to the example thing that there is a ex extra load coming to the work now you have to add employees accordingly if it is manually done and then remove the employees if there is no work so this addition and reduction of manual uh, effort or human resources is very um, like it's a very tedious process and then it is also take time where you need to make the uh, resource skilled and then train many things and then make sure he is not doing any mistakes he is not doing any manual er errors but for a software robot it's just an installation time less than an hour and then the robot is ready for the service 
there is no need for specific training again this all stuff so this is how it is very easy and then not only that this this rpa tools or the rpa um, implemented stuff are very high in uh, security where it gives all levels of security like data encryption psg and many other things where it makes use the complete data is secure even the login credentials to be managed with log credentials manager and what not so you will have the best of the security and then there is no um, uh, risk for data leakage or any such kind of things right and then example if a work is done through manually the person cannot say that this work is done this work is done this work is done means at every second or every hour he will give an overall progress at the end of day or something but bot will be getting each and every second we can make sure what are the tasks done whether it is successful or it is a failure if it is failure what is the problem it is successful what is the metrics what is the performance time so this all kind of audit logs can be done and then it will be very useful for metrics and reporting and when this all these kind of logs and everything is there the maintenance is very easy reusability is very high and then thus the industry is moving towards this phase of implementing rpa to um, get to the maximum benefit and then reduce their um, operational cost actually right so next we will see just what are the tools available in market which are highly available and then the leaders of the market so definitely the first one is automation anywhere which is leading uh, means from consumption perspective means the adoption perspective or the process which are implemented perspective the automation anywhere is the highest so followed by with just a little margin next one is blue prism so where this is also is implementing the best of rpa and then um, this is also adopted by many of the mncs next will be followed by ui path uh, so we will uh, in our sessions where in the next uh, following sessions we will go through each tool and then in detail we will understand what are the tool features and how it is um, governing the market or how it is telling the market how it became the leader in the market and what are the features which are um, cannot be compared with other tools so for each tool there will be definitely a highly 100 percent uh, competitive thing and then um, some tool, some uh, features which are not up to the mark right so we will go through them in our next series of uh, classes next will be open span from pega and then followed by work fusion cofax so nice so what not we have many such tools but these are the tools at a glance just i am showing you to understand um, what the if you here uh, come across these tool names anywhere this these are nothing but rpa tools okay so we will go through some use cases now and see uh, how it is useful or uh, what are i am not saying the complete the use cases which are listed here are the only ones which can be done but i am giving you some couple of use cases which have done in uh, to our clients and then they have got the maximum benefit and then i think it will be useful for your understanding the capabilities of the rpa tool so excel comparison example you have two excel sheets and then currently manually the comparison is happening where the person is looking at sheet one and sheet two and then he is doing some comparison cell by cell yes the point is where we can use some macros here but the macros uh, writing a macro is the needs a skilled employee right that is one thing and then it and also there is uh, the limitations like it cannot deal with more or simultaneous in parallel operations those those things will come into <coughs> picture right and then we can employ some set of rules only when using macros or v lookups or something or excel based operations which are there but this rpa tool will justly simply do how a human is doing not that some um, script is running right example you are clicking on this cell you are clicking on other cell taking a copy of it doing some process to the text all things can be similarly done what you are doing using a mouse and a keyboard can be easily done by the software right so this kind of excel comparisons are somewhat the minimum basic needs which we are seeing in any mnc for their process to be employed and then where human effort is very highly uh, consumed here so this will be a good uh, use case to start with actually right 
and then status report means you are having some um, many process and then each process you will be getting a through an email the status of each process will be getting the metrics or everything are there in an email you need to come um, read through all these emails uh, get a consolidated report and then send the status report to the leadership so this cannot be done by any other tool or the current level of tools actually dot macros or this kind of stuff which is very hard but this rp it is very simple for it where the consolidation can be done with seamlessly without any issue and based on the configuration it will send a report you can schedule it or you can do it you can do a manual trigger anything whatever you want so the configuration only we have to do and then it is very easy for us to uh, send the status report without any issues right fraud case investigation this is one key uh, place where we have seen the highest benefit where example they think that there is a um, credit card user and then there was some fraud uh, transaction happened on his uh, card he will raise a investigation on the uh, credit card uh, industry and then he will ask the card to be blocked for now so what the card management or the industry will do is they will they need to go to different systems like mainframe, uh, databases, some web applications, some Citrix remote uh, applications and then fetch the complete data which they want and then they want to get complete details and then it will be given to the investigation officer to see what, where it went wrong and what it happened, something like that. Right? So when it is done manually for each fraud case, um, in that particular MNC, it was taking around four to five hours for a, a person to sit with and get all the required information but when implemented through RPA this is done in 45 minutes where the customer is highly delighted to see the robot delivering the same set of tasks in not less than um, it means it's a 90 percent overall time was saved and then the manual the person who is doing this fraud investigation, getting the documents and relevant data, right? That person is used somewhere else for a productive effort. This kind of tedious repetitive task can be easily avoided and then that is the purpose of our RPA tool. And then mainframe to distribute systems where think that you have a use case where you are removing the mainframe and then coming to SQL or some other any um, distributed uh, database systems then it is very easy for example you need to go through each record or something due to some your own reasons it's not that a direct copy from this uh, mainframe to other distributed database you need to do some processing or some kind of uh, adding some more attributes to the data so that uh, the once the data is moved to distributed system it is more relevant and then reliable right in that case when taking each record and then doing some processing and sending to it it's the manual is um, i think it is uh, close to impossible stuff where because definitely from the data will in main terms will be in huge volumes and then getting through done will be a uh, costing millions of rupees for the client so this, this is a this is also one of the use cases where we have seen more than 90 percent of um, uh, cost saves and then the customer has adapted to the rpa tool and then he is seeing the benefits now so regression testing and service health check so this is pretty forward like as i tell so soap ui testing or selenium testing or um, this kind of testing are available in market but there are limited to kind of example if you take selenium so it is limited to the specific browser and then web based only but if you want to do anything on a um, application which is window based not browser example a calculator you want to do something on a calculator those things selenium cannot do you want to do something on an outlook on an email means how many emails you are getting um, read it one email to some separate inbox folder or getting the reports reading the reports and then sending back and then um, checking whether the web service is up or not right so this kind of stuff i think it can be easy see what i'm saying is the, the current existing macros or seleniums are one to one level they are uh, they are good the next level would be this RPA. That is how you have to take. It's not that I'm not saying that those are bad and this is good. No, those are having still having some manual uh, in interventions and then somewhat uh, making uh, consuming more human work or human effort. Now this RP is example. If they are forcing, fo focusing at macro selenium are focusing at 50% of reducing the human effort. This RP tools will focus at 90% of reducing the human effort and then in a much easier way 
example soap poi or selenium or any other thing will require a person who is who can do programming and then a technical skills and then to do that but this kind of uh, rp implementation the customer can himself can himself sit on the process and then do the automation that is the key here right so it's very easy to do this and then if you think that nowadays i think we definitely see this l1 l2 l3 monitoring manual efforts where teams sit on the screens continuously monitor for tickets and then if there is a ticket they need to act within no time and then they have to um, do some uh, fixes then and there and if they are not in their scope they need to send to the next level of team something like that so this kind of stuff like we have implemented for one of the mlcs and then it is highly reliable where the screens are being monitored second by second for complete 24 by 7 and then without any human intervention the tickets are completely resolved and then there is nothing that the tickets are getting accumulated because of example a person has just um, took a pause of monitor monitoring and then at this particular instant there are many tickets coming in so there was very high tickets and then and then the tickets are piling up and then creating a lot of nuisance to the customer and the client in turn right so such kind of things can be easily avoided and then it, this is the best to the rpa tools are very much can be implied here to come out of all these troubles so we have many things which we will go through when we are taking each when we are going through each tool uh, um, features right we will go through more use cases rather at this point of time and then um, any anything you can ask where whether the tool example it supports outlook i have not mentioned outlook here example but outlook it supports it does it support mainframe yes it supports mainframe it supports uh, any word document yes it supports it supports uh, any um, citrix or remote desktop yes it supports so there are many features embedded into the rpa tools to make you um, the life easier still more life easier and then automate the process and then um, get the highest uh, returns out for the client right and then we will go through quickly some kind of ideal candidates for rpa so we will think of rpa when the given work is repetitive means you are doing a copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste or you are doing a data entry or something like this right so these are repetitive and if there are high in volume so there is a high risk of uh, manual errors there which can be avoided and large teams there are hundreds of people deployed to do this kind of example um, l1 uh, ticket monitoring or uh, copying the data from mainframe and then uh, uh, this thing data operators or uh, this kind of people are very much involved right? large teams are there to do the processing or think that some other cards are there where you need to enroll the other cards process the details and then generate the enrollment number etc so lot of manual work is being kept to service the thing on time so rather we can definitely think of this rpa which is highly suitable right and next is high volumes is i think we already covered this where if there are volumes are very high rpa is no doubt about is the best tool manual intervention so when there is a multiple manual inter interventions are there where um, if human is required to do some um, processing or he is doing repetitive work or he is continuously need to monitor something there also this all can be employed and prone to human as i already told right if if the risk is if, if it is data operator means if he is typing a wrong way a wrong character into the system so so it will be having a higher impact and then cascading efforts will be there and then this all can be eliminated for rpa this we have already discussed about high turnaround time where if it is manual the turnaround time will be high where because the person will take his own time to complete the task right and then sudden increase in manual work and then um, if that is the if the staff are less uh, means the, if the load is more and the staff are less it will be a very chaos and then very problem and then there will be many backlogs happening and then round the clock process means 24 by 7 you have to do some processing or you have to do some monitoring what you do if you do for 24 by 7 you have to deploy three manual resources sitting on the same task round the clock but it but here it will be a single 
machine which will do the thing batch processing multiple access points means accessing multiple um, applications at same instance and then getting the relevant data as we have seen from fraud case uh, thing right such kind of thing so those of in this all these cases rpa would be the best choice so when coming to bad candidate means when we cannot go for rpa even though it's not bad candidate candidate it seems it doesn't say it is impossible it says rather than implementing rpa it's it's good not to implement because the the benefit the customer will be getting end of day will be very less example you need to buy the license you need to make the software install and everything but when you are using for um, one hour a day or half an hour a day or monthly ones it's of no use for you because development will take some time license will cost you something but end of day if you are not using it effectively it will be very less right so low volumes means the processor having very less volumes 100 transactions per month or something it's of no use knowledge or opinion based means there are some recommendations or predictions required anything which needs some judgment or something rpa tool should not be chosen because it might be having some problems so it is just a task doer it cannot judge anything and do something right if, if a rule is there if condition is there else condition is there or there are multiple conditions you will do it but if you based on the input data if you need to judge something that will be a problem for the rpa tool and we should not consider in such cases ha hand written means as i told other card is there if the writing if the thing that the enrollment is done on a using an application form which is written with handwriting so that cannot be processed or any unstructured data cannot or uh, such kind of unstructured data cannot be done or cannot be uh, for that process we cannot use this rpa so there are many such things like this and then we can go through this and then what i want to show is uh, to uh, to understand much better we will just go through a quick demo now and then see um, how uh, example what i want to do is i want to read some data from an excel sheet and then use the same data for registering into an site example i have a student data where i need to copy read from an excel and then uh, i want to uh, submit the data into the um, website and then the registration will be completed right just quickly see that for now and then we will see how it is happening Right. So if you see here, this is what which I am saying. Where example, I will be removing this email and gender, right? So think that we need to go th means the person has to go through uh, all these details, and then he has to prepare an email based on the name and surname, and this is how he has to process and then prepare an email dynamically. And then gender is based on uh, if it is ending with A I U or something, it is a female. That is the rule we are having. And then adult means if the age is less than uh, greater than 18, he is an adult. So this you have to prepare one by one. So it will be very hard for us. So let's see how this RPA will be doing this within no time, right? I'll I'll be running in a slow mode so that uh, you will easily see. Otherwise, we can do it a fast run. So it is reading the file now. It is so the tool which you are seeing is Blue Prism. I just thought of showing you what is how the RP tool looks like. So the reading is over. Now it is trying to write. So if, if we see here, it is again opening the file. Doing some logics means how a gender is calculated, how a, um, uh, what is that, um, age is calculated, how that email is calculated, and then it is writing everything onto the thing. So to so I will just sp speed up the process and see how quickly it is going. Just see right, see how it is going on. And then for each record, you can see the variables. You can refer to the variables here where the values are getting done, and then just done over. So fast. So let's see how the whether this data is populated. If you see here, latest timestamp is there, and then if you see here, all the data is populated as per the conditions we thought and the, per the conditions we have seen. So if it is less than 18, it is treated as female. Otherwise, it is something like this, right? So we have kept some conditions, and then accordingly it is doing. So nothing more than that. Simple. Now what we'll do is we will take another use case where. Second, so we will take another use case where so we have the details now and we want to use it for registering into a website, right? So, these are the so I have reduced the student details in the interest of time. 
So if you see I have three records, similarly we can have 300, 3000, 3 lakh records where you have to use this name, a surname and email ID, some other things for registering into a site. Right? So, so just we will see how that is happening. So this involves so registering. So if you see here, this is the steps where you should read the file, loop through each record and then do the so, right. So let me start it. So it's reading the file. It is launching the browser, right? Typing the URL, waiting for the page to load. If you see here, data is getting done and then registration happening. Registration successful, op closed. Again opening a new browser, given the site, page, allow the page to load, registration successful, closing. So like this, it will happen for n number of times and then within no time we will be getting this. See it right? Very simple. Very simple. That's it. Over. Registration is complete. Right? So that is how that is how the easy it is. So in our next sessions we will definitely, I think we will start with some um, groupism or UI path, some tool and then we will go through in neat de detail step by step manner to understand how it goes and then how it is easy to configure and then how you can use the RPA tools for your um, reducing the manual effort and then make some benefit to the client. Right? Keep learning. Good day. Bye.